Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back after another killer week. Uh, we hit two parlays, one on Tuesday, one on Friday, and I took the weekend off to watch football, which was one of the best decisions I've made. Uh, that was phenomenal. Uh, hit two parlays, double drum money, gave y'all two locks that both hit. Uh, guys, so join the Patreon. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Uh, join the Patreon. Get the up-to-date best gambling advice in the sport of boxing anywhere in this world. Right there in the ticker below is the link. It's also uh, the link is also in the description. Uh, follow me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog. Uh, also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, we already dropped the Canelo... And Berlanga video, that has been dropped. Uh, that was dropped on Friday. Today, uh, we're going to get into Lada and uh, Garcia in a battle of senior citizens who don't often fight. This is an intriguing fight because I like both of these fighters. I, I think both of these fighters are really good. I think they've had both, both have good careers. I think they're both Hall of Fame caliber fighters. I'm a big fan. You know, anyone who knows me knows I love Arison De Lara. Uh, Danny Garcia, I think he's an excellent fighter too. This fight will be contested at 160, which I think is a bridge too far for, for Danny Garcia, who just five foot eight, 68 inch reach. I, I I don't love this weight class form, um, so I give Lara the advantage in size, in, in terms of size. You know, Danny Garcia started at 140, and yes, he was a huge 140, and then he was still 147, but he hadn't really fought much at 54, and and, and now he's going to 60. It's interesting. The only fight he fought at 54 was the Benavides fight. And that was, you know, over two years ago. He's only fought the, the one time uh, over the last, you know, almost four years since the Errol Spence fight in late 2020. He's only fought one time, and, and that was with Benavides, uh, in which he got a decision. I looked okay in the fight. <clears throat> Again, that was 22, 24 months ago. Wow, 26 months ago. Interesting. Uh, as far as Laura, circles the ring well, but he has less movement than he used to. He's not going to run around the ring. He, he, he moves, but he's more stationary. He's not using the whole ring. He's just pivoting out and turning. Has real power in that left hand, and we're going to keep talking about that power in his left hand. Super high ring IQ. He's one of the smartest guys in the ring I've ever seen. Uh, he's selected with his shots. The He's never been a big volume guy, but the volume, you know, he's 41 years old. He's got great timing. And he's selective and accurate with his shots, and, you know, he, he doesn't waste much. He's going to be selective, he's going to be accurate, and he's got a ton of power in that left hand. Beautiful straight shots. Controls distance really well. I mentioned the, the the ring IQ. He knows how to how to fight. He knows when to fight. He knows how to conserve energy. He knows what to do in the ring at all times. Still has good speed. More stationary in the pocket. We'll we'll we'll, we'll shift around and pivot in the pocket, but he's not using the whole ring anymore like he used to. Mixes up head and body really well. There's nothing offensively he doesn't do really well. So sharp and, and accurate with a straight left. That straight left is probably I still think the best punch in boxing. I really think that. Is a is a major is is a master of hit and not get hit in the mid range. He's an absolute master of it. That uh, and then the straight left comes in and is 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 a sledgehammer. He can set it up. He can jab. He can win points. You know, it's kind of a little bit like a southpaw. You know, when Bernard Hopkins was late in his career, was winning titles and stuff in his late forties, and he was winning rounds with his jab. Now, make him a southpaw with lethal power. That's Laura. Laura is still extremely dangerous at 154 or 160 pounds. He's still extremely dangerous. Danny Garcia, uh, a good fighter. I'm a Danny Garcia fan. He came up short against the absolute best welterweights of his era. He, calm and control in the pocket. He rolls with shots really well. He's a good counter puncher. He can fight in all three levels. Nice jab. He can lead or counter. He can come forward. And he, he can counter with two fists. He's got two-fisted power. He's still fairly mobile. He's got a good gas tank. He also has a tremendously high ring IQ. He's the kind of guy who he's kind of mastered the art of boxing. He just doesn't do anything spectacular. He's got good, not great power. He's got good, not great speed. You know, he's... He's got a good, not great chin. It's he's 
he's good, not great at everything. He's a jack of all trades, and this is kind of he's a good, not great athlete. You know, he's this is right below the all-time great fighters, right? Like the Errol Spences, Terrence Crawford. He's right below that. that and, and without that next level, without that next step, this is as high as he goes. The problem is he's fighting Laura, who is a is faster and a bigger puncher and bigger and stronger. You can see where I'm leaning. Good combinations, puncher, good speed. Uh, does his power carry up? We're going to find out. That's an important question. Again, he's really, really good across the board. He's just spectacular. He's good at everything, spectacular at nothing. The left hook, I like a lot, but we're going to find out if his power cal- if his power carries up. The counter right hand, too. His, his single shot counters are really, really good. We're going to see how they – how they. he's got really good reflexes, too. Like just in, in, in the mid-range and up close, he can kind of make you miss and, and take off shots. He can roll a little bit and stuff. And – He's he's got a bunch of knockouts. Forgot that you know it doesn't have super duper power. He's got good power. He knows how to place it. He knows how to time it. He checks all the boxes. So let's pull up the odds on this. Give me one second, and we will get the odds pulled up on this. Lauda minus 225. I like this a lot. There's no props on it, guys. Join the Patreon. Uh, link is in the description. When the props drop, we'll take a look at the props. We'll take a look at the over. I probably like the over. I like either Laura by light knockout or Laura on points. We'll take a look at that. But I definitely like Laura on the money line. The odds are make it make it worth betting. This is a great bet to make a standalone bet on, and it's also a great bet to build a parlay around this. You can build this parlay and then just throw in a couple of gimmies, and you're going to get decent odds. But Laura at minus 225 and Canelo by stoppage or something like that, it's 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 a nice little bet, prop bet. It's a, It really, really is a nice little prop bet. Stephen Fulton, something like that, Caleb Plan. Gimmies like that, just, just add them on and um, – but this is something you can definitely build around. I love Laura minus 225. Let's see. Uh, I'm sorry. Get the wrong bet here. Arislan de Lada. Where I'll bet makes you 44 bucks. Not terrible. I think that's pretty safe. I would make that bet. Um, again, you can add that to your parlay or you, you can – Make that bet as a standalone. Either way, you're, you're walking out there with pretty good money. It is September 8th, 2024. Oh, guys, so join the link. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Um, we're going to go live shortly after this, uh, but I want to get this out for you. Uh, I'm sorry. From Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.